Hi, welcome to this episode of Herald Cafe. Uh, today we've got uh, two filmmakers who have come to Goa to do a workshop. And uh, let me introduce Akshay Singh. He's, I know him from his uh, first the Konkani film, Azma Kya Falya Tuka, that you made. And also one of his award-winning films called Mesampur. It's about a film director going back to his life, doing something again. I'm not going more into that film, but yeah, that's it, Akshay Singh. And sir, welcome both of you in this. Kabul Surup, as everybody knows, he like his iconic film was Om Dar Vidar. And then he was involved in a lot of TV, film, radio. I think every, every creative way. And uh, Tracing Falke was his another documentary. Yes. yes, like that. And yes, uh, welcome to this Herald Studio and thank you for your time. And I would like to know about the new initiative they have, you have started in Goa. Uh, so this is a, a work collaborative documentary workshop that we are doing at in called the Island of Memories and Dreams. Mm -hmm. It's set on in Shorao Island mm -hmm. uh, and it involves eight filmmakers who have come around from India mm -hmm. and they have been embedded with eight characters from mm. around the island mm. and they are filming with them mm. uh, with a methodology and a process mm. uh, that Sir is implementing mm. and uh, we are currently in the uh, throes of it. It's going on right now? It's going on right now. Okay. Uh, okay. It'll, it's on till the 12th. Mm -hmm. So uh, eight small films are being made and uh, a collaborative film is going to emerge mm. from all of it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Nice. Archiving uh, Chorao Island. Yes. Sir, then uh, why Chorao Island? You could have picked uh, up any island. Uh, say the basic concept was uh, in 76, mm -hmm. I was working uh, with Indian Space Research Organization and the world. Mm -hmm. So I had a project called Video Puran, okay. which was Vedic Puran, mm -hmm. which was like you pick up a village. Mm -hmm. And you stay there for a long period of time, like five years or three years, mm -hmm. and then record the day to day activity of that village, mm -hmm. like document it, and um, like writing a novel mm -hmm. about that, and where the villagers will also participate. Mm -hmm. Means they see every day mm -hmm. what they, uh, how they are recording, and they participate. It's an interactive kind of a documentation of that village. Mm -hmm. Like the everyday calendar they record, you know, because the, the in the calendar there is a day to day activity, there are rituals, mm -hmm. there are uh, crafts, there are births, mm -hmm. deaths. So the basic, this experiment was done, mm -hmm. the document is still with the Indian Space Research Organization. So it was a one village, it became like a lab. Can I interrupt and ask, like, why is a space research organization is interested in a sociological project like this? Because they were collecting uh, anthropological data and the other data about uh, a unit, mm -hmm. you know, a mm -hmm. village unit, mm -hmm. and what kind of a dynamics takes place mm -hmm. in a village. So it it generates many data of can be of yeah. a universal value that kind of data because it's a very close study mm. of a village so, village, yeah. so it's a microscopic study okay so since it's an enclosed space mm. so you can focus there you know it's and there is a certain order in okay. that village because of its in it's in you know enclosed space mm -hmm. And within that, mm -hmm. there is an interpersonal relationship. So it generates fantastic kind of a, so it's a nice way to study the uh, uh, village life. So I think uh, that is why you are replicating that model into Shorao and not, so, now okay. it will develop. Yeah. So okay. uh, that was the concept. Mm -hmm. Then there is a novel mm -hmm. called 100 Years of Solitude. Mm -hmm. Gabriel Marcus. Yeah. Yeah. So, there he talks about 100 years mm. of one place, mm. its memories, its fantasies, its day to day life. Three, four object, generations, yes. And everything coming in this mm -hmm. small place. Mm. 
and going out from this. So it's a mix of, mm. it's like the consciousness of that place, mm. a historical, mythologizing, mm. or a fantastic version of it, mm. and a great way of writing a novel about mm. a, a whole community. Mm. So that was the one more concept we mm. were like mm. we were initially saying we will do the reading of the novel so these guys can mm. get mm. Uh, get a taste, taste of it uh, yeah. taste of it so that feel mm. and that novel was because if we said you know it's a latin american company mm. uh, uh, set in yeah, there, there so maybe here mm. in goa mm. Right. Mm. then it was the idea of which island mm. or a village mm. So he had suggested one thing, but then he said, "No, Kamal, this mm -hmm. uh, village or this island is more beautiful and mm -hmm. and more open and uh, more more potential." The reason he gave is that it's an island of the what is the he word? asked us Fidalgos, island of Fidalgos. Yeah. And you said, "No, the island of Ha." Uh -huh. Yes. Means the nobleman, yeah. mm -hmm. and then the history began from here. The Jesuits and the yeah. printing press. So I thought, uh, thought this place had fantastic. Yes, Chora was seeped in history, starting from Piso Ravalna that we know about it now from there. Then, uh, actually, like you said, it's an immersive workshop. What do you mean by immersive workshop? Like how so, uh, the immersive, uh, the nature of it is not based in theory, but okay. but uh, mm -hmm. being immersed in the practice of it. So, right from day one, the participants were engaged in a practice-based workshop okay. uh, where they were thrown into the deep end mm -hmm. with their characters and understanding the situations of their characters, mm -hmm. uh, considering the varied backgrounds that mm -hmm. they are also from. Mm -hmm. Some have come from the cities, mm -hmm. uh, two, three of them are from Goa, there's one mm -hmm. participant who's from the island. Okay. So, uh, uh, there was a, 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 the starting point was being fully immersed mm. within the island and its mm. culture and its traditions. Uh, so, for that you have uh, studied a lot of uh, books on the Chorao island, Chorao history, yeah. something like so, that? So, uh, papers, academic papers were okay. shared, there is a very interesting uh, uh, academic called uh, Angela Barreto Xavier, she has written a mm. fair bit, uh, she's done papers mm. on Sharao and its history, okay. uh, mm. its transition mm. uh, with the Jesuits coming, mm. what happened to them mm. uh, and uh, also taking oral history like from Joe etc. Mm. Uh, we could, uh, I'm sorry I forgot the question. No, like uh, where, where, where have you done your research for sort of before getting into this immersive work? So there were, there were texts both academic uh, and uh, mm. and literature, mm. uh, which was there about Chora, which we dug out. Mm. In fact, there was this very old book, which no one had a copy of, mm. which we found with uh, Salil Chaturvedi, mm. uh, that he had one copy, which is just pages. Mm. So that has been shared and that's probably the oldest uh, book about Chora, nice. uh, which is and, there. And academia has a lot of uh, papers on this. Mm. Yeah. And so that was one thing about the island, but also we wanted to see the nature of an island. So there are a lot of studies on, on islands per se, you know, what the what is a crowd within an island, what is the psychology of an island. Uh, so this was collectively shared and read by us and the participants before we came here actually, before we started. Because, because of its... Uh, I think um, what I gather from you that you have chosen Chorao because of its history and because it's like a small place where it and is geographically. geographically small place and a complex yeah. history of it, you know. Because like it's enclosed. Like, yes. Also. Yeah. And uh, how uh, you said eight filmmakers and eight characters from that village. Why is this number eight? And what is the criteria of whom you have included in the film? So the number eight was coming from Sir's process. Uh, okay, tell, can you tell us more about number. it? <laughs> so it's like an infinity? Yes. <laughs> Two islands coming together. With eight. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm trying and to figure it out. But okay. And a ferry in between. Right. <laughs> yes.
There's a lot of artistry in that. <laughs> So, and uh, and how, how did you choose the island uh, islanders the to act in this film? Are they acting in the film or no, how how are, how are you? He, do, yeah. he, he, he did the process of choosing, not choosing. He we had that okay. Suppose you want to represent the island, mm -hmm. so you have to represent the island through the various crafts, various activities. Mm -hmm. So you have you point out the this location will be represented by this character mm -hmm. or this aspect of community will be represented by this character right. so either you choose the different mm -hmm. location or a geographical areas mm -hmm. or then you find a representative person for that craft or right. for that piece of mm -hmm. uh, community or that side of community mm -hmm. so so that the it represents the whole village mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. or whole island mm -hmm. and they get interconnected then you have private spaces mm -hmm. community spaces mm -hmm. who represents the church mm -hmm. so you have to have a priest mm -hmm. who represents the different craft mm -hmm. you have a prajapati vishwakarma mm -hmm. representing somebody mm -hmm. who represents the entertainment mm -hmm. industry so you have a angelo mm -hmm. you know, yes. like that then you have various mm -hmm. uh, you know, represent a representative character mm. and a location representative and they converge into public spaces mm. where the whole they become mm. a community mm. so that was the mapping in the mind scheme got it and how how are the islanders uh, uh, approaching you or taken taken you as like like how how they are involved they were as uh, enthusiastic and uh, excited as we as the participants were mm -hmm. because they wanted to be a part of this whole process mm -hmm. because it's almost like they are making it mm -hmm. so it's an island production yes. and and you said uh, there will be eight smaller films eight kind of eight documentaries eight stories mm -hmm. and there will be a uh, you will all stitch up together to a longer documentary and stuff. Yes. What will be the outcome of it? How do you see the future so, of this film? So, when we set out, uh, we had clearly said that uh, that the eight participating filmmakers, they can, they will make small individual films with mm. their subjects. Okay. And uh, Sir is also filming. Mm. Uh, he's filming them. He's filming the characters. Mm. So, he's filming for the larger collaborative film because it's a collective. Mm. We have come together. Uh, eight, nine, ten of us. Mm -hmm. uh, so after they are done with their individual films, mm -hmm. that data is being collected mm -hmm. in one place mm -hmm. for a collaborative film, which won't have those, mm -hmm. which won't have the structure of a singular mm -hmm. kind of films, but a larger collective consciousness in one, mm -hmm. in one piece, which will be a larger film. Mm -hmm. We are uh, framing the whole thing. Okay. Means participants, villagers, mm -hmm. and everything like Filmmakers. a large canvas, mm -hmm. like a narrative canvas. Mm -hmm. Within that, these eight films mm -hmm. are microscopic study, mm -hmm. going in depth. Got it. So we are, you know, like mm -hmm. a larger frame, mm -hmm. and these guys are going microscopically, mm -hmm. creating a depth. Got it. That is the dynamics between the uh, means what we're doing mm -hmm. from outside. Mm -hmm. They are going deeper inside. Wow! I can always I, I can see it like a canvas with a three D imagery now. Yes, <laughs> it's almost like. That. Yeah. And uh, why why the name Island of Memories and Dreams? Every, every place will have memory, or is it personal memory or a collective memory? What? Why did you name it Island of Memories and Dreams? Hundreds Yeah, from there. Okay. Okay. Then. Uh, what I want to ask you that uh, this film, after it's completed, do you want to uh, where where do you want to show it? Like uh, like uh, what's the yeah? So the eight individual films we are uh, we'll sc start screening it uh, quite quickly uh, from Feb 10, 23rd at the Goa Open Arts Festival. Then next month at Museum of Goa, the larger collaborative uh, film will take time to finish, and uh, we need the support system that already that's here in Goa uh, within the cultural community to finish that. Uh, but the eight individual films will, will finish uh, 
for the screening which will take place on the 23rd in goa open arts at goa open then, arts then there's a program in museum of goa like about that nice and uh, my i think we're coming to an end but uh, my last question will be what is the like i believe like uh, island culture is similar in everywhere you know like be it majuli of assam or like kiribati of pacific island or chorao in a do you find any universality or peculiarity of island culture that attracted you more to to this do this workshop for me it yeah. is because a uh, lot of fairy tales talk about the island culture yes island is a big mm-hmm. metaphor mm-hmm. in literature mythology yes. but for me it is uh, i've been studying mm-hmm. like uh, i've done a lot of work in pushkar okay so it is uh, a osmosis i mean oasis mm-hmm. and it's a lake city it is or say i come from srinagar mm-hmm. that's also a lake city mm-hmm. the lake mm-hmm. so you have lake cities mm-hmm. you have river bank cities mm-hmm. there is you have port city yes so by being the nature mm-hmm. of you know the city Mm. city uh, river city or port city mm. they are always similarity because of a, a similarity in nature mm-hmm. so similarly the island city have a very specific mm. uh, character to character. it yeah so and it's easier to study because there is a boundary yeah. so mm. it, it it has that kind of a uh definiteness uh, definition yeah yeah yes. and, and and you will not find this accessibility in if you want to do it in a larger metro maybe like bombay or no no, no. Uh, yeah you know like island city i can look like a like you looking in a microscope mm-hmm. but port city you don't have that kind of a microscope or a river city which will elongate you know. okay it has a different shape you know river city will they'll go like this yes yeah. or lake city uh, will have a lake S- and do that surrounding surrounding yes by that yeah. or they can have a boundary of the mountains yes yes so here it is a fantastic mm. it's easier for you to handle is, production wise also maybe no, <laughs> a, it, it is a, it is a different sense of beauty mm. yes it is yeah what we looking for is not the easiness of it mm. but a kind of a if you with a painter side mm. you see the canvas there is a sense of a different beauty mm. so like the participant also you know it's not for them to gather information mm. but get the spirit of the place get the spirit of the uh, character get the you know spirit of that air that's why suza because yeah. the suza was giving us mm. a bit direction mm. to look for that spirit or how to compose that spirit knowing the competency of both of you as filmmakers i am sure this will be a nice cinematic archival or Uh, so. yes mm-hmm. we really hope so too i'm looking forward to see that and understand the island from a, maybe a different perspective from your perspective from the perspective of those eight, eight islanders and whatever we know from the academia or like reading about articles i think it will be a fresh new look into the islands yeah. thank you for whatever you are doing i hope it will turn out to be very good and up to your expectations yes. and uh, another two more days for your workshop uh, yeah. it's on till the 12th so now okay. three more days yeah. three more days and uh, first you will be uh, premiering in uh, goa openers fest uh, the eight films will be yeah. there yeah the larger film we'll premiere it later yeah. thank you for your time and all the best for your project uh, and you. i hope the audience could see this film and looking forward to see chora violin with a new eye in a kind of a cinematic archival documentation way thank you all we'll see you next week